going on everybody? It is uh, Tuesday, definitely not Monday night, Valentine's Day. Um, I would not spend Valentine's Day sitting in my car uh, eating Taco Bell, so uh, it's not Monday. I swear it's not Valentine's Day, okay? <laughs> Forgot my sunglasses, so uh, I apologize if I'm like not looking at the camera because uh, I can't, I'm, what am I going to do, look at myself? This is what it looks like I'm looking at myself. See, it's stupid. So I, I hope I'm looking at the camera. Anyway, top game of the week, Horizon Forbidden West. Why, why did I say it so weird? Horizon Forbidden West, coming out on PS4 and PS5. This is the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, which uh, I just bought at GameStop because uh, I'm a real gamer, baby. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're a woman in the future. Spoiler, maybe, I guess. <laughs> and you're fighting uh, robot dinosaurs. So, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, let me get this Taco Bell real quick. Well, happy Valentine's Day. I mean, happy day after Valentine's Day. This is Tuesday. Uh, next, we got Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires. It's a PC, PS4, PS5 Switch. Xbox One, Series S and X. Um, the Dynasty Warriors Empires games are like uh, kind of a mix between Dynasty Warriors and the uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. It's very strategy based, but it's not as deep as Romance of the Three Kingdoms. And you spend a lot of time doing actual combat on the field as opposed to just sending troops. To out to do your fighting, so I don't know, could be good. I thought Dynasty Warriors 9 was really bad, so I'm curious if this is gonna be uh, better. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Uh, next, we got Rumbleverse PC through the Epic Game Store only, uh, also on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, the Series S, and X. It's another free to play battle royale game, and uh, yeah, but there's no guns, it's all melee weapons and combat and shit, so. I don't know, it looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, next we have King of Fighters 15. Uh, coming out to PC, PS4, PS5, and Series S and X. Um, I didn't see it coming out on Xbox One, so I don't know if that's actually true or if I just didn't see it, so... I don't know. Well, King of Fighters is a very well-known series. Great game. Great series of games. This new one, I guess, brings in the concept of the multiverse. So now even that shit is making it into uh, non-Marvel stuff. So that's cool. Uh, next, we got Total War Warhammer Part 3. Coming to PC. Another strategy game. This one is a little more actual strategy as opposed to Empires. which is kind of a mix of combat and strategy. Oh, well, I guess there's combat in Total War. Anyway. It's a strategy game. Set in the Warhammer universe. Uh, apparently you're playing in the realms of chaos this time. If that means anything to you, you're probably excited. <laughs> Finally, we have Voice of Cards, The Forsaken Maiden, on PC, PS4, and Switch. This is a role-playing game mixed with a deck builder. If you're familiar with a deck builder, it's a type of card game. It's a tabletop game where you build a deck out of your cards and you do shit with them. Games like Dominion and Legendary do this. Anyway, uh, Voice of Cards. First, first game came out last year, like in November. Um, 2021, in case you're watching this in, you know, 2027 or whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, it came out in November of 2021, and uh, this is the, the follow-up game, but they've, they've stressed that this is not a sequel that requires you to play that first game. They said if you just want to play this one, you're more than welcome to. So, you know, I'm sure they want, you know, they want your money anyway. <laughs> Notable titles. Uh, Ten years ago, the PlayStation Vita came out, I guess. Uh, moving on. Uh, 20 years ago, Maximo Ghosts to Glory came out on PlayStation 2. This was a, uh, 3D platforming action game. <clears throat> Again, not Valentine's Day. It's, it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's a 3D platforming action game where, uh, you play as a guy named Maximo. He's a king who comes back to his kingdom, finds out his queen has been kidnapped by an evil wizard. Anyway, what makes this game interesting is it's a uh, 
It's part of the Ghosts and Goblins series, or Ghouls and Ghosts, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, I like. I don't know how they tie in together. You know, I don't do any kind of journalistic uh, research on these things. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but yeah, it's it's part of that whole whole thing of a jig. The game is really hard, as you would expect from a Ghosts and Goblins game. But like. It's one thing to be difficult, right? Like, if it's, oh, the game's hard, you know, whatever. It's hard. My game was, like, unfair, you know? Maybe because it's 20 years old, I don't know. But the uh, but the way you save the game, it, like, requires you to spend coins that you collect in the game. And they aren't that hard to come by, but they are a pain in the ass to try to get. And if you have to, like, go somewhere, like, if you need to go to, like, fucking work or school or whatever... And you don't have enough coins, like, you can't spend another 10 or 15 minutes trying to get enough coins to save the goddamn game. So you'd be fucked. Second, if you die and you lose all your lives, uh, there are continues, like a fucking arcade game. But instead of being able to just put in money into an arcade game and, and keep playing, you have to give these, you have to get your, your so your, the character Death has brought you back to life. That's the kind of the gist of the game. Anyway... You have to give death these special coins that are different from the coins that it takes to save the game. But in order to get the coins, you have to collect fairies. And you need 50 fairies to get one coin. And to continue the game, the first time costs one coin. To continue the game, a second time costs two coins. A third time, three coins, etc., etc. And it's it's so ridiculous. Uh, I If anybody ever beat this game, uh, they deserve a medal. Because uh, it's, it's damn near impossible. So that was Maximo. It's okay. You can get it on PlayStation 3 digitally if you really want to play it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Or emulation. Finally, 30 years ago, the uh, television series Star Trek turned 25 years old. Um, actually, it turned 25 in 1991, but they released three video games to commemorate its 25th anniversary in February of 1992. Uh, there was one for PC, one for the NES, and one for the Game Boy. The PC and NES games are basically uh, point-and-click adventures, um, which is, is cool. Um, the PC one is the best one, because it also has this kind of like space combat mode to it. That's really nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, uh, uh, really enjoyable games on both PC and, and the NES. Um, had really great graphics for the uh, NES at the time. Um, you know... It's kind of a late era NES game, so like most companies kind of knew how that, the internal guts of that machine worked, so it was a lot easier for them to uh, make games look better. You know, they were able to harness more power from the system and stuff like that, and put new chips on their boards and their game boards and shit. So, um, yeah, great games. You can get the PC one still on like uh, GOG or through Steam. Um, the NES one is, you know, you can't find that anywhere. You've got to emulate it or, you know, buy an old copy of it um yeah so those are those two but the the third one the game boy game is a fucking piece of shit <laughs> it's it's not good it's uh again it's it's kind of in two different it's got kind of two different ways to play the first way is you're on the ship and you're shooting things and the second thing is you, you go down to a planet and you explore but instead of like being a point and click thing it's more like just a standard kind of top-down action game but uh i no I, yeah like Maximo, this game is really hard, and unfairly. The the side-scrolling shoot 'em up stages are really long, like really long, and uh, there's so many enemies on screen, and your ship moves like it's swimming through molasses, and you can't shoot very well. And it's just awful. It's just not good, and uh, yeah. So fun fact though, it was made by Visual Concepts, who would later go on to make all the. Uh, uh, 2K games, you know, NFL 2K, NBA 2K, etc. They still make NBA 2K uh, to this day, so. Anyway, I think that's it. Again, just another Tuesday morning, hanging out in my car. Definitely not Valentine's Day. Definitely not sitting alone in my car on Valentine's Day eating Taco Bell. Like some kind of fucking loser. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good. Oh, it's better than sex. Yeah.
Definitely. Definitely. Bye.